Hi, everybody. Welcome back to 3 News Now. Today is Monday, May 31st, Memorial Day. I'm Stephanie Haney. Thank you for choosing to be here for your top stories from WKYC.com and our WKYC app. We start off today by remembering the purpose of Memorial Day. As we are all gathering with our friends and family today, let's remember that the reason we celebrate this day is in honor of the military veterans who gave the ultimate sacrifice, sacrificing their lives to protect our freedoms in the U.S. Today here at 3 News, our thoughts are with those who have lost service members and those service members who gave that ultimate sacrifice. Today, President Joe Biden honored Memorial Day at Arlington National Cemetery by laying a wreath at the cemetery and praising the sacrifices of the fallen in the pursuit of democracy. He was joined today by First Lady Dr. Jill Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, and Second Gentleman Doug Emhoff in a ceremony at the Virginia Cemetery's Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Now, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is dedicated to deceased service members whose remains have not been identified. During his speech today, President Biden focused on the importance of democracy, saying that it thrives when citizens can vote, when there is a free press, and when there are equal rights for all. Here's a direct quote today from President Biden. Generation after generation of American heroes are signed up to be part of the fight because they understand that truth that lives in every American heart, that liberation, opportunity, justice are far more likely to come to pass in a democracy than in an autocracy. President Biden and Dr. Jill Biden then stopped by a row of gravestones after the ceremony where they were holding hands and speaking with the family. On Sunday, President Biden addressed a crowd of veterans and Gold Star military families. These are the immediate family members of a service member who died while serving in a time of conflict. This was at War Memorial Plaza in Newcastle, Delaware. Earlier on Sunday, he and several other members of his family attended a memorial mass for his son, Beau Biden, a veteran who died of brain cancer six years ago today. Now, today throughout Northeast Ohio, there were many parades honoring Memorial Day, something that wasn't able to happen last year, but those were back this year. Lots of people celebrating from Avon Lake to West Lake. Most of those took place this morning, some this afternoon, like the parade in the village of Lakemore. That started today at 1 p.m. It started at Springfield High School and down Sanitarium Road. We have a list of those parades that were happening today on WKYC.com. Now, as we look toward the warmer weather with the beautiful weather that's out there today, there is a water quality improvement update after weekend testing detected what might not have been a great situation here for Memorial Day weekend. Now, Memorial Day weekend kicks off the recreational season and Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District's testing of beachfront water. Now, from Memorial Day through Labor Day, Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District tests the beach water quality every single day to let people know the state of the water in case you're planning on getting in that water throughout this summer season. Now, it can be a lot of different factors that contribute to poor water quality. One of them, sewage overflow. This is the same issue that left a half a million people without access to clean tap water in Toledo in 2014. What we're talking about here, though, is access to your recreational water at our waterfront spaces here in the Northeast Ohio area. Now, NEORSD performed a predictive test on Sunday, and according to that test, Edgewater Beach water quality was good, while Villa Angeles water tested for more than 90% bacteria. That included E. coli. However, testing done today showed that water quality had improved to good. Now, representatives from NEO RSC say you can still fish. You can even dip your feet in the water if quality levels are as high as 93%, but just make sure that you don't swallow that water. She also mentioned if you're heading out to the water or a beach, it's important to check that water quality level each morning. And if you want to do that, we have the link to do that on WKYC.com so you can make sure that you're doing and following the proper protocols at our waterfront areas throughout Northeast Ohio this summer. Now today we don't have any updated Ohio COVID-19 numbers to share because of the holiday, but we will have that information for you tomorrow, back on Tuesday, June 1st. Tomorrow is the first day of June, I can hardly even believe it. Another thing that's happening tomorrow, there will be honoring of former Cleveland baseball player Rocky Colavito with groundbreaking for a new statue going up in Little Italy. Colavito is a Cleveland baseball icon, and he'll be honored with that statue in that neighborhood. He was a six-time All-Star who slugged 374 home runs, the 15th most ever 
at the time of his retirement. So he played with the tribe from 1956 to 1959, and then again from 1965 to 1968. So groundbreaking for that statue will take place at 11 a.m. on Tuesday at Tony Brush Park. That is along Mayfield Road in the Little Italy area of the greater Cleveland area here in Northeast Ohio. We'll stream that groundbreaking on WKYC.com right inside the story that's up there right now. So if you want to bookmark that, make sure you stop back tomorrow to check that out again at 11 a.m. This construction expected to last several weeks. That's according to the Rocky Colavito Statue Committee. Here's something that Matt Gambatis, the committee's chairman, said. He said this project is going to bring added recognition to a well-deserved ball player whose impact on Cleveland went far beyond the playing field. Now, when will the statue be unveiled? Expected to be unveiled Tuesday, August 10th. That's Colavito's 88th birthday, and he's a member of the Cleveland Baseball Hall of Fame, and he plans to attend that statue dedication ceremony. Celebrated sports sculptor David Deming is the person who created the clay statue, and then it was sent to a foundry in Cleveland last month. Deming's work includes tribe legends Larry Doby, Lou Boudreau, and Frank Robinson, as well as Cleveland Brown stars Jim Brown and Otto Graham. Stay tuned to WKYC.com for updates as that goes through the process of construction throughout the summer up until that unveiling on August 10th. All right, now we're going to take a look at some of the best patios here in Cleveland. This is from our contributor, Doug Tradner, our food editor. This is part of our Save Our Sauce series where 3 News highlights local areas, local establishments that you can support that are definitely in need of support right now, especially as things open up after a long year of not really being able to go anywhere. So here's a couple of the patios that should be on your to-do list here in the North Ohio, Northeast Ohio area. The South Side, this is in Tremont at 2207 West 11th Street. This is a gourmet restaurant that is disguised as your friendly neighborhood pub. All the comforts of that neighborhood pub with absolutely delicious food. Chef Natasha Pograbinski has dishes on the menu like tuna poke and Greek meatballs with tzatziki sauce. Southside also has an unbeatable weekend brunch and it's Tremont's largest and maybe most comfortable patio. Here's another one for you in Ohio City, the Harp at 4408 Detroit Avenue. You know, for a city on a Great Lake, Cleveland doesn't have a lot of lakeside dining options, but this is one of them at the Harp. They're completely unobstructed views of Lake Erie. You can see it from the comfort of your own chair on their beautiful patio. There's a mix of Irish staples on the menu like fish and chips, and then there are also American classics like burgers and wraps. Here's one for you in Gordon's, Gordon Square, Lux at 6605 Detroit Avenue. What they did here at Lux is pretty incredible. Management transformed a former parking lot in Detroit Shoreway into one of the most attractive restaurant patios in the Cleveland area. It's basically a garden oasis. There are large umbrellas so you can have shade from the sun while still enjoying being outside. And there's an outdoor bar whipping up your cocktails. So not a lot of time to go from the bar to your table. So you get those drinks pretty quickly. And on the menu, they've got Italian and Mediterranean small plates and entrees. If you want a little Mexican flair, you can check out Nuevo Mod Mex. This is in the North Coast Harbor. The address there is 1000 ETH 9th Street. This is really tucked behind the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This is one of the sharpest looking lakeside restaurants that we have here in Cleveland. It's very contemporary with glass, wood, and steel. Like I said, right behind the Rock Hall. Amazing views of the harbor, the lake, and the city skyline. And right behind it, there are sand volleyball courts. So you can enjoy Mexican dishes like empanadas, mushroom and leek tamales, and tamarind braised short ribs. And then you can hop up back and play some volleyball if you want to. One more for you. Flight Cleveland in Detroit Shoreway. This is at 5712 Detroit Avenue. This is an amazing wine bar, and they really do it up from top to bottom. And an incredible patio and you can get things by the glass of course but if you want to buy a bottle you can get that at pretty comfortable retail prices and then they just charge you a reasonable cork fee and with it being memorial day this is the unofficial start of summer so we have to tell you about our summer fun guide from our contributor laura demarco she gives 12 must do things that you have to do in northeast ohio this summer here's just a couple of them Parade the City is back, and the Cleveland Museum of Art has really kind of reimagined this for Parade the Circle 2021. What they're doing is they're pairing local artists with community groups to create amazing art installations 
throughout the city. A guide to those locations will be available at the museum's new Community Arts Center that's opening June 12th in the Clark Fulton area, or you can find that at cma.org, and we have that linked at wkyc.com. Another thing to put on your list this summer, Yay Saturdays. This is a new weekly University Circle event. It's got children's activities, and it will be consecutive Saturdays starting June 12th through July 17th. This is from 10 a.m., to 1 p.m. Free activities geared toward kindergarten through eighth grade students and their families, and this will be at Wade Oval in University Circle. And yes, concerts are back, and that includes outdoor festivals. Wonderstruck is back. This is a two-day event. This happens July 24th and 25th at Lakeland Community College. The headliners include Walk the Moon, Portugal the Man, and Third Eye Blind. We've got all your information for tickets on WKYC.com. And here's one that's pretty special. The Cleveland Orchestra is back after a year-long hiatus at Blossom Music Center. They're kicking off a 10-week season July 3rd through September 5th. Now, seating will be limited. 3,500 people on the lawn, 1,500 in the pavilion. So grab those tickets. You can get a season pass if you want, or you can get individual shows. And again, we have that linked on WKYC.com. That's it for your 3 News Now update today for Monday, May 31st, this Memorial Day. I hope you're out there enjoying this beautiful weather. I will see you next up on What's New with your trending stories in the Clicking in Cleveland segment, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for more 3 News Now. Until now, until then, everybody, stay safe and be well. I'm Stephanie Haney.